yeah, you know, just the overall, uh, the all, overall tempo of practice, uh, the demands we put on throughout the entire practice. You know, the better in shape we are, the more physical we're going to be able to play. We still aren't there, but, you know, again, trimming down some of that weight that they were carrying that was, it was too much um, has helped them to get through, not to get through, but to be more productive in practice. However, you know, we're still not there yet. And here's the thing that we do. When we watch the film, we start from obviously the beginning of practice to the end. And you can see towards the end, once you get tired, your technique is not as good as it needs to be. Your pad level, your landmarks, all the fine detail things that we stress are, are lacking just because of them being out of shape and which we keep working towards with the weight loss and getting in better condition and understand our temperament of practice. Our temperament of practice is, 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 is up tempo the entire way, the, you know, the entire way through the practice and also situational. So we got to be strong mentally and physically with what we do. So losing that weight has benefit. How much will it open up the playbook as far as more screens and power sweeps and that sort of thing with a more athletic uh, Absolutely. You know, as we're moving forward, we've installed more uh, in our offense after finishing the game practice six. And now once we come back off the Easter, we're going to keep throwing more at them. But understand this, there's no question, we aren't even close to being where we want to be in the playbook because we have yet to master the fine details of what we have so far. And we're not just going to move ahead to feel good about having a large volume of offense to say that. we we got to master what we have in at this point in time, from you know the run game to our protections to our screens. Um, and again, just to find details. And as you're trying to do that, master details, how much does it help that you do have some guys that have played a lot together? Even if it's not in this system, they've been used to talking and communicating. It's good because, you know, What's, what's, what's happening now is guys are starting to spit back the language of what we expect, the language that we talk about up front as an offensive line, and because of their experience, because of their understanding of, of line play in general, has been a lot faster. The guys are going to have about 10 days off. What did you stress to your unit about staying in shape, especially because apparently they still have a ways to go to be in the shape that you want them right. to be in? Take care of their bodies and be smart. You know, uh, fortunately, the group as a whole uh, they're, they're either staying here or they're going home, which is good. Um, but just using their time wisely, and it gets back to trust, you know, from day one. Uh, everything that I stress to them is built on trust. It's making good decisions. It's making uh, decisions that uh, Coach Jones stresses that, you know, what requires us, you know, is being a champion every day and what we do, how we live, how we train ourselves. Um, so it's important that, um, you know, that they're just getting rest for their bodies and their mind and still getting a chance to get some workouts in. About how much weight have they lost collectively? Do you have any idea? As a whole, um, close to probably 80-some pounds, I would say. Um, you know, you get quite a few guys, 5, 10 pounds here and uh -huh. there, but uh, it's, it's, it's been good. I'm, this is the most experienced unit on the offense. How much have they kind of taken upon themselves that leadership role, and how much has that been kind of reminded them that to Kind of take the leadership role because Juwan the James, Juwan James has stepped up as that as that voice, and uh, he's done. He's to this point has done a really good job of leading the group as well as taking it upon himself to lead the offense, and he's been the one voice right now. Uh, the other guys are, are are working with the other guys in our group uh, during individual and meeting sessions and so forth. But Juwan right now is the one voice. Let's talk about the, the challenge of coming in. I mean, we look at the wide receivers. Got nothing, no experienced guys to work with. What's the challenge like when you've got nothing but experienced guys to work with? I mean, and, I mean how, and have you know, earn respect and the guys that have had success and teach them something different. We, we got to play better. I mean, we we didn't win enough mm -hmm. in the past, and you know we got to play better, and we got to play better with more depth. Yes, it is experience, and since I, you know since we've got here, it's been how many guys are back, and we, and we do, and they're solid players. They got to play better than they did a year ago. Last year wasn't good enough. So that's the challenge for me. It's a challenge for them that they got to understand. And it's and, and I hit it home to them every chance possible that, hey, you know what? It wasn't good enough. And we got to play beyond that. We got we to gotta work that much harder to do things better than we did a year ago. Is that even more of a challenge when they're being told about how good they're supposed to be this season? I mean, well, we remind them that they're not. 
we remind them. And, it, and it's just the reality. I mean, last year's last year. And again, it wasn't good enough. I mean, it's, you know, uh, it, it just wasn't. And, 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 and it needs to be better. So the thing is, and this is what I really enjoy about this group, they like to be challenged. They're not satisfied. And my emphasis to them is, you know what, every day's a chance for us to get better. And again, it wasn't good enough. And we got to keep working to be as good as we can be individually and then collectively as a unit. On top of the experience that you all keep mentioning about, we have to improve depth. And, and, and I've said that from day one. Our depth has got to improve. We do have a solid core of returners. However, those the, the guys backing up need to step up and be solid in the event of something that happens, it's next guy in and we don't blink about it. So in that regard, is there anybody and oh, those Matt Crowder. Group. Matt Crowder's had a has had a heck of an off season of lifting and training and so forth. And to this point right now in spring ball has really, really stepped up his play. And I'm really I'm pleased with the progress he's making, the way he's attacking the days mentally, the way he's attacking the practice physically. Kyler Curbison's making some strides. Marcus Jackson and Alex Bullard competing right now for that spot. You know, Marcus Jackson, I think, took some took some strides today. I was really encouraged by him. You know, so um, there, there is, there is some positive. So we're, we're moving in the right direction. We just, again, we have got to each and every day demand more and more. And you know what? The players are responding. That's the positive. You know, it's a group that's responding to the challenges that are put before them, to the demands that's put before them. In terms of us and our expectations of practice, the effort we demand to practice, the details we demand, they're responding to that. That's encouraging. Coach, have they responded kind of since you, since day one, since you got here? I mean, I'm sure you came in and, and said this one of your early messages was last year wasn't good enough. Did they maybe look around and say, well, I mean, you know, we had a really good year last year, or did they, they embrace it kind of right from the start? Well, you know, it, 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 again, it boils down to this, winning football games. It's not about what was done statistically, and that's what drives me nuts. And, and, and especially as an offensive line, it isn't a statistic. There's only one stat that matters, and that's winning. Bottom line. And I understand your question, but the bottom line is this. It's about winning. And we are a position in which that's it. It doesn't matter how many yards, sacks, this, that, and the other. At the end of the day, let's go and win ball games. period. So that point, and again, from their maturity level and their understanding, they get it. And it, it, it's not anything that's, you know, th th they get it. They understand, you know what, that's right. What, what is Tiny's role this spring in terms of what he can do, what he can't do? He's really he progressing. He's really working into drills. He's working the mental part of it. He's getting better every day. And today was a lot of, you know, the, the, he took steps forward into the amount of volume of work that he was able to do. So I was really encouraged with him.